What is going on Adventure Nation? We are leaving Prince Edward Island. We are leaving this amazing Harvest host. I'll explain this in a second. This is the Motorhome Experiment. This was a really a lovely Harvest host and the owners, Tim and Cindy, they were amazing. They're, I don't know, it's like they want to go and pick up the uh, vegetables like fresh for you. So you get the freshest of the freshest here. Yeah, sometimes the Harvest hosts have things for you to buy and sometimes they don't and sometimes it's a museum where you can support them. This is an organic farm that Cindy and Steve run and, and there's no stand there's not actual store there's no actual stand or store here so they will actually go out and forage and pick the stuff for you fresh this particular host the people are what make this the place is beautiful the place is amazing and we got to see the the goats and the chickens and the and the, the sheep kittens. or whatever and the kittens there was little baby kittens that you guys saw in the video and that stuff is all cool but sometimes it's the people that make it and Man, Steve and Cindy, they just rock. So I can't say enough about them and I'll, I'll gush about them all day long because they, they were amazing. They have picnic tables and they have firewood for us to use that we didn't use because it has been raining, but they have firewood for you to use. So it has been an excellent day. Yeah, if you're out of here on PEI, I highly recommend the Shepherd Farm. Yeah, they have a fire pit. They had these tables for us that we use. They, they supplied us with firewood. Unbelievable people. So we're gonna head down and up the road. Last night we were in Charlottetown and somebody had made a comment about Kevin's beard. So him and I got into it and that's how this happened. No, that's not how it happened. Lorraine is an abusive wife, to be honest with you. And that's how this happened. Wasn't that way. No, they're not buying that either. I was attacked by Ozzy last night. He Ozzy was, was not, running around like a madman. He was not attacked. I was Ozzy attacked. Ozzy was playing. Paul didn't play back though. Ozzy was playing, I wanted to see what he was playing with. I leaned over the edge of the bed and he clawed my nose to pieces. I was bleeding all over the place. I was gonna call 911, but instead I just put this little band-aid on it. Such a whiner. All right, <laughs> let's head down the road. You guys ready? Oh, wow. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Every now and then on the side of the road, they have these new PEI potato stands. Since we've only had the potatoes in restaurants, we decided we'd get some for ourselves. And uh, we're gonna stop at this little stand right here. Let's get them fresh. I guess the new potatoes are better than the old potatoes. I don't know. <laughs> Five bucks for a big old bag, you toss your money in there, and away you go. Potatoes, PEI potatoes. We've got potatoes! <laughs> yeah, so we made a quick stop there at the roadside potato stand and we've kind of gotten off of the Trans Canada Highway number one as we're heading out onto Highway 10 and this is kind of a scenic route over to the bridge as we like to do sometimes, is uh, get off the beaten path. And here now when there is some scenic right, you can see here on the right, there's a little sign at the very bottom, colorful. That tells you you're in the scenic route. And there's cool stuff to look at. <laughs> so you can tell you're on the scenic route. Well, there's beautiful stuff to look at. Yes. All over the island. That is true. Oh uh, my goodness. That was scary. Wow, that was a wooden bridge. <laughs> that was scary, dude. Hi 
Hi there. Thank you very much, you too. Okay, just so you guys know, we knew this coming in, but it is free to come out onto the island on the bridge. And when you go back, sixty-two fifty if you're towing a car. Not bad for what? Again, Canadian dollars. So Canadian dollars, so probably it's like 50, 55 uh, American dollars. American, yeah. 20, 20 bucks American. Um, no, I know it's not. But it's really not that bad. We're out here for four days. It's a toll. Who cares? It's part of I'm traveling. I'm assuming that's why a lot of people stay away from PEI, that we found availability at the provincial parks is because of that. People yep. are afraid of paying that toll. Yep. So we didn't need any reservations in Labor Day weekend, basically. That's kind of cool. Yep, very cool. Well, I guess it's U.S. Labor Day, not necessarily Canadian. No, it's Labor Day everywhere. Everywhere? Yeah. Back across the bridge onto the mainland, and from here on in, it is west, west, and west. There'll be little jogs north and south, but we'll be heading west from here for the next several months. Oh, this isn't whale watching? Well, no. <laughs> Here's the brochure here. We're gonna drive down a hill in the right lane, pull over to the white post, and then we're gonna be mysteriously dragged back up the hill backwards. <laughs> that's awesome. How's it going? Living the dream, man. How are you? <laughs> yeah, that's what we're talking about. All right, so you're gonna head down to the bottom. How many times can we do this? You're unlimited. But yeah. you have to get back in line if you want to do it again. Okay. okay. If you don't, you will be referred to as a double dipper and shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Oh, wow. We do not want to be a can double you do dipper. Can this going forward this way? You can, but it's less cool. Is it really that? <laughs> it really comes up that fast, or are they accelerating? You can gain a significant amount of speed, but you need that speed to carry you back up. So you're going to have the urge to brake to fight through. All right. All right. That's cool. pretty cool. Okay. There we go. See, we're going down the hill there. So we're driving down the hill. Yeah, and we can feel it. We can feel it di driving down. You have to go on that left lane. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Now she's got to go over the left lane. So yeah, we're going over into the left lane. And then here's where the magic happens. The car's going to get neutral. And then we're going to get sucked back up the hill. Yeah, here we are. we're getting dragged back up the hill. That's uh, down there. And then, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, look at that. Totally came all the way back up the hill. Oh, I'm not quite making it. Fight the urge, fight the urge, fight the urge. Oh my goodness, look at all that. Right. That's amazing. <laughs> need to apply the brake. It's amazing. It was unbelievable. Awesome. So weird. It is very weird. <laughs> Thanks. Where do we pick up our certificate? Was it everything that you hoped and dreamed, Lorena? And more. And more? I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah? Thought it was pretty cool? It's something that you don't see everywhere. No, you don't see it everywhere. Kevin, I know, was like, he was so excited. Look at him. He's even we more were, excited the second time around. We were going down a hill. I don't understand why everybody's so excited. <laughs> it doesn't look like you're going no, down a hill. No, it doesn't look like you're going down a hill. Yes, it Stop does. being a spoiler. We're, gonna we're going for the record. Time, 22. 23 times. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> have to fight the urge made it up here on that stupid ass break i really That's like the magnetic the hill kevin has spoiled it he doesn't like it at all <laughs> but laura do you like it i thought it was pretty cool it's just like a yeah. cool optical illusion yeah what do you want to call it <laughs> good morning we woke up here at cabela's in moncton 
and we're gonna head up the road. We just did a quick overnight, did a little bit of shopping, restocked some stuff at the Atlantic Superstore, which up here in Canada is like a major it's grocery like a store. store. <laughs> it's like a superstore. It's got groceries and all kinds of stuff. But they have lots of uh, lots of vegan options for the Millers and uh, yeah, nice store. But anyway, this Cabela's uh, doesn't have RV parking, like specifically for RV. So we just parked on the very back of the Cabela's and there was plenty of space back here. Yeah, no other RVs here last night. And well, that we could see. They didn't kick us out. There might have been in the front. There might have been some in the front, but so let's roll down the road. Okay, we come off this exit and audio is gonna be horrible. I'm shooting with a GoPro and it's really windy. I always say that, but it's the truth. So we got off this exit so that we could see the world's longest covered bridge. That's actually not. This is supposedly the world's shortest covered bridge at 24 feet. I'm sure that you guys will tell me whether you have a shorter one or not. That is in fact the world's shortest covered bridge. Really? At 24 feet. So we're gonna see the shortest and the longest. The longest. And I'm sure all the guys in the comments are gonna be telling us that theirs are shorter or theirs is longer. You know how guys are. Always comparing. Okay, now we did the so you stepped on the gas or no? longest covered bridge in the world just now. Now we're going to do it backwards. It's magnetic. We're do that. So, there you have it. World's longest covered bridge. It was actually initially built in 1901. It was not covered but they had some problems with the wood. Then they covered it in 1922, discovered that they now couldn't draw sleighs across it because no snow got on the bridge, so they had to take snow inside. And then they could take sleighs across it, but I don't think they do that anymore. But kind of cool, even though Kevin doesn't think so. Originally it wasn't a covered bridge. <laughs> he thinks the bridge was built for tourism only. Yep. In 1922. They didn't know there was gonna be tourism here. There was no tourism in 1922. It was, whoa. Dude, World's Fair, what was the year? 1964. Exactly. All right, yeah, the covered bridge was kind of cool. They originally considered it a kissing bridge, and so they actually held sermons to say that this wasn't going to be good for the community when it got covered, but they covered it anyways, and supposedly the younger guys would train their horses to stop in the middle of the bridge, and they would have to get a kiss or two or ten from their boyfriends, boyfriends girlfriends, whatever they were, and uh, then the horses would continue. So I tried to get Lori to break down in the middle of the bridge so we could make out, but she wouldn't do it. You forgot in the middle of it. See, she forgot to break down in the middle of the bridge. Story of my life. Okay, so we saw the world's shortest covered bridge and the world's longest covered bridge, all within a matter of a few minutes. That was kind of cool. And now we're heading up the road. We are now getting to the furthest north that will be, actually not the furthest north, but we're getting further north than we've been before. And we are going north and west. Just for a little bit. Just for a little bit until we get to Quebec City. We won't get to Quebec City today. We're going to be staying overnight, though, near the St. Lawrence River on what is supposed to be one of the busiest Walmart RV parking spots in North America. So we'll see. I just made that up, actually. They just said it's a really busy... I just forgot. We could have toured the potato chip factory. We could have so. toured the potato chip factory. But... I did just make that fact up. I don't know if it's the busiest in North America, but they said that it's just crazy at night, 40 RVs. We'll see. 
But for now, down the road we go. See people spreading misinformation. Only the best information for them. First time I've seen the St. Lawrence River east of Lake Ontario. So pretty amazing. Massive, massive river. So pretty cool. It'll be interesting to check out this little town and see what they've got. Now again, this is supposed to be one of the most busy RV Walmarts around, so we're gonna see pretty soon. We're arriving a little late in the afternoon, so it'll be interesting to see if there's spots available for us. It's not bad. It's 4 o'clock. Oh, we just changed time, by the way. As yeah. soon as we entered Quebec. We went we back just, to Eastern. Yeah. Went back, so that was kind of cool. We gained an hour. Gained an hour. Dude, I like this side over here. Private area. Dude, there's 120 over here. We got ourselves a nice little parking spot down here along the side of the the Walmart in whatever town this is. It's Riviere de Loop or something like that. We're gonna have a hard time with a lot of the French names here, but we're right along the St. Lawrence River. It's the very top of. The road that we're on before we head west and down towards the Quebec City and Montreal area so kind of cool this Walmart supposedly closes at five o'clock which is crazy on the weekends on the weekends right. sorry but uh, that's what makes it really busy here and right now there's already one two three four five six RVs including the two of ours seven so already seven and not even closing time yet now we're gonna go inside and stock up. Lori, everything here is in French. Yes. It's funny because before entering Quebec, everything is two languages, French and English, French and English. We enter Quebec and it was just like, just French. French, yeah, they just go screw the two language thing. We decided to come out here and see just how busy this Walmart was for RVs. And it's pretty busy. You don't really notice it because the parking lot's huge and empty of cars, but you've got one there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and then R2, so twenty total. Twenty RVs, that's a lot in a parking lot. Not the forty that we've been told that a lot of people experience, but that's still a lot. This Walmart closes at five o'clock. So as you can see, no customers. Close. Yeah, pretty weird to see a Walmart close at five, but it is the weekend and uh, Sunday night. Pretty interesting. Chilly night, but it's gonna be nice and quiet. And this is where we're gonna call this one. So if this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you subscribe to the channel, stay up to date on all of our travels. It'd be equally as cool if you liked the video, share it with some of your friends and we'll see you again next time. Take care now, bye.